If you have a first generation Acura TSX, you've probably experienced cloudy or foggy headlights at some point. So have I. And I refinished them five years ago and they're still looking brand new to this day. Here's how I restored my plastic headlights at home in my garage. First, I removed them and I'll put a link in the description to that video. I took the lights outside and I washed them with dish soap, a sponge, and sprayed them down with a hose just to get all the dirt off. They're done drying now and it's time for wet sanding. Next step is to wet sand the headlight. I have two types of paper here. I've got some 1500 grit and I have some 2000 grit. The 1500 grit is a little bit more coarse, so I'm gonna do that first and uh, wet sand in a crosshatch pattern. And then after that, the whole surface will be completely clouded over and I'm gonna go back and do the same thing with a 2000 grit. You can see it's starting to get a little bit cloudy and that is what you want. That is gonna smooth the surface and make it uniform. After the surface of the light is completely sanded with the 1500 grit, repeat the process again with the 2000 grit paper until all the scratches left from the 1500 grit are sanded down smooth. After sanding with the 1500 and 2000 grit, the plastic lenses should look like this. An even, hazy surface from all the fine scratches now on the lens. Next step is to clean them up and I'll apply the clear coat. I washed these off, let them dry, and now I'm wiping them down with the wax and grease remover. I have some PPG DX330, but I'll put a link in the description to some less expensive stuff. This step removes any grease or oils left from touching the headlights with your hands because those will cause the clear coat not to bond. Some people just polish the plastic lens, but the sun's UV rays will only make them hazy again over time. You need clear coat to protect them from UV rays and keep them looking clear. Make sure it's UV resistant, like this U-pole. I'm going to use a 2K clear, which is even better. This is like the clear coat on your car's paint. I've already got it in the gun because I just repainted this bumper a little bit ago. But if you don't have a compressor or a spray gun, you can buy a 2K clear in an aerosol can. Spray Max is a good brand. I'll put a link to that in the description. Actually, a step above the U-pole. This lacquer clear coat will not hold up to UV rays. However, Dupacolor now sells a 1K clear in aerosol, which is UV resistant. So I'll add a link for that as well to give you options if you don't have a compressor and a spray gun. The first coat should be a light coat, like a mist. Going heavy at first is a sure way to get a run or a sag. After allowing flashing or drying time, according to the instructions of your clear, come back for another coat. This one can be a normal medium coat. Then for the final coat, I go heavy for the wet coat. You wanna go as thick as possible without getting any runs. That helps to fill in any orange peel that might have happened on the earlier coats. I like to go extra heavy, and the nice thing about a headlight versus a hood or a bumper is that you can pick it up and make the surface flat before the clear has time to run or sag. So I'm making the surface horizontal so it has nowhere to run. And I keep moving the headlight around different directions so that gravity is constantly changing and that will help avoid any runs or sags. I just keep doing this until the wet coat flashes and then it's safe to set it down because it's not gonna run. Here's a look at the other light after the second medium coat. And up close, you can see it has a lot of orange peel on the surface of the clear. Next, I'm gonna do that last wet heavy coat and you'll see the difference. This one was a little lighter than I wanted, so I went back and did a fourth coat immediately after. So it's extra heavy. I set the gun down ASAP and immediately picked up the light and held it so there was not a vertical surface because that's the most likely spot for a run to happen. And just keep moving it for a minute until the paint starts to flash. And here's the result. Crystal clear, smooth as glass, no orange peel. These look brand new and are gonna stay that way thanks to the UV resistant clear. Yeah, it's a little more work than just polishing, but definitely worth it in the long run. 
I let the lights sit overnight to cure, and I just put them back on the car. And look at them. Would you just look at them? They look brand new, and so does the whole front of the car now. Here's another look with the lights off. Here's the before shot for comparison. Once the paint is fully cured, go ahead and keep a coat of wax on them, just like you would your car's paint. That'll help protect them as well. Man, this front end is looking good. This car looks about 10 years younger. I didn't get any footage of the old hazy lights at night, but not only can I see a lot better now, the signs far away reflect better. And the cutoff line from the HID projector light is more sharp than it was before restoring the headlights. Fast forward five years and here's how the lights are looking. Still crystal clear and haze free. Zero cloudiness. So if you're gonna refinish your headlights, do it right one time. Thanks for watching.